It's not a small world. Trust us. I was sitting in my room running letters back home when I heard some noises in the kitchen and so I figured I might as well get up and figure out what it, what it is because it sounded pretty noisy and pretty hysterical and I walked in on my host sister trying to slit her wrists and commit suicide and that was pretty much the worst thing that ever happened to me. I never really fixed it, I just kind of took the knife away from her and that was pretty much the worst thing that ever happened to me on exchange. I haven't had any problems in here. My life in Australia has been just vulnerable. In one of my host families, my host mother was very nice. My host brother was very nice, but my host dad was a bit hard on me. He was very, very busy on his work, even on Saturday he goes to work. He doesn't talk to me so much, and when he talks he was a bit insensitive to me. Sometimes it makes me sad, makes me lonely, makes me feel like getting out of the house. It was a very lonely time. Actually, I don't want to remember anymore. I think you have a lot of little problems, but I haven't had one major, major hassle as such. Um, I think the good things tend to override the bad things, and then they just don't seem as, as big anymore. But no, I haven't had a really, really bad hassle. You have your few differences. Um, because that's free and many people is really friendly. Yeah, I like Australia. The best country. Yeah! I don't just like Australia, I love it. Uh, all the scenery. Lots of really great scenery in the beaches, I gotta say. Um, I love Perth, I love the cafes. I love, I love the wildlife, the animals. Um, I love the flowers, wildflowers, I love the shopping, I love the transport system, I love the Swan River, I love sailing, um, there's so many, I pretty much, there's pretty much nothing that I don't like about Australia. A good host family is one that takes you in as one of them, but they respect the fact that you're an adult and that you can make your own choices and that they put responsibility and trust. Um, good host family is one that encourages you to have a life, um, have a social life, be a member of the family, one who respects you, um, who allow you to do what you'd like to do within certain restrictions of course, um, generally one that cares for you like their own child. They treat you with respect, but it's probably as bad as much as you respect them and they treat you like an adult and realise that you have been adult enough to leave your family and by yourself. So, you know, you sometimes they tend to think that you won't cope in a lot of things, but whereas you have already coped with so much that whatever seems made to them is really minor for you. Um, a good host family allows you to have your own space, but still includes you and sometimes they, they need to understand that you just need to, to be alone and they also need to understand when you need people around you and they not only um, a family that sort of understands that not just you mould yourself for them but they mould themselves around you a little bit, sort of like a give-give situation. Is one that uh, tells you what you have to do to help out and, and lets you help out. I mean, there's nothing worse than going to host family and they really say, oh yeah, just do whatever you can to help out around the house. And then when you offer, they always say no. And it makes it really awkward because you're never really sure whether you're helping or not. You're never really sure whether they're, they're, they're happy with you. And that host family pretends to take care of me, but actually they just want me to want to be at home and go to school, go to school, come back, just work, just study, eat, then go to bed. Sometimes it happens. When they treat you like a 14 year old instead of an 18 year old, and when they, they don't make an effort to understand you and your reasoning behind things. One that lets you do absolutely everything. Yeah, you just don't respect them, you think they don't care about you. Um, if they talk about you behind their back, if they constantly criticise you. Um, my first host family actually was probably um, a good example. 
They didn't trust me. Uh, they felt my presence was an obligation to Rotary, not to me. And they didn't enjoy my company. It was sort of a major clash from the beginning. Majorly, it was just a big lack of trust. I don't want to go back home. I don't want to go back to Japan. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, not really. I, I will yeah, for longer. No, no. Oh my God, don't say that. Oh, it's so sad. <laughs> no. 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 I'm already at home. I would only begin your way. So I'll go, but I know I'll think of you every step of your way, and I. My darling, ooh, mm -hmm. be a sweet memory. That is one I'm taking with me. So goodbye, please don't cry. We both know another one you need.